Right now, you're hearing me on the Rode Pod mic with the Vocaster 2 audio interface. So this is how it sounds. This video here, I'm going to do an updated review on the Fifine Tank 3 and the Ampletank SC1 audio interface. So the audio interface right now is $52.99 and it's $79 for the Tank 3. And you can get you a, a an arm like this right here for about twenty five bucks. So you know, under one hundred and fifty bucks, you or right at one hundred and fifty bucks, you have you a complete audio setup. So how does it compare to what you're hearing me on right now? Did it does it compare? Did I just start this video with the Rode Pod mic just to have the Rode Pod mic on? Who knows? Let's get into it. All right, so a small recap. This is the Fifine Tank Three. It is XLR and USB. It is also a dynamic microphone. I really, really like this. This thing is built like a tank. The yoke is a half yoke. It's a half Y yoke right here, which makes it really easy. Uh, you don't have to worry about your cable. If your cable falls or if you want to um, Velcro it up, it's out of the way. It, it's re really, really nice. So paired with the Tank 3, I have the SC1 interface by Fifine as well. So the only bad thing I ever ever said about this in my initial review is the where the XLR plug is. The XR plug is in the front instead of the back. Having it in the front, you just you have more for your cables. If it was in the back, it'd be easier to do your wire management and have them up out of the way. But what I found is I actually have a thing underneath my desk, and I just prop it up underneath the desk right here in my little in a little cradle, and I set everything, and then everything else is done through my software as long as all this is set. So uh, it, it keeps my cables out of the way. I mean. My cables ain't hanging everywhere. They're not everywhere. Again, right now, you're not hearing me on neither one of these, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hook it up, and we're going to see how it sounds. Again, right now, I'm on the Rode Pod mic with the Vocaster 2 uh, audio interface, and this is what it sounds like right now, and then we're going to go straight over to the Tank and the SC1. All right, so here's the Fifine Tank 3 right here, and I am on the Fifine SC1. As you see, every time I talk, it's lighting up green. And like I said, all your wires, I mean, your your power wires in the back, but all your other wires for your headphone. And don't get me wrong, the headphone's nice to be in the front. Um, and I said that my my Vocaster was all in the back. The headphone is also in the front as well in the Vocaster. Uh, but your headphones here, and then if you want to hook up a guitar or, or whatever else, um, you can also bring it in and control everything from the interface as well. So again, this is what it sounds like on the Fifine Tank 3. Now, me personally, I mean, this is what actually what I use. I, I, I like this setup right here. I don't need an inline filter like you do on the Rode Pod mic. The Rode Pod mic, you got to buy an extra filter. So the new Pod mics, I think, are 200 bucks or something like that. I think you can pick these up anywhere between 125 and 150 now for the the original pod mic, but then you got to get you a cloud filter, which is anywhere between 30 to 100 bucks for that, depending on which one you're going to go for. So now you're looking at 150 to 200 bucks for just this one right here, and then it's only only XLR. There is no USB capabilities. This one here can also do USB. Now, when you're in XLR mode, you cannot use these knobs whatsoever. They do not work. These only work for USB mode, which this mic is superb in, XL in USB as well as XLR. XLR, though, just gives a little bit cleaner, crisp of a sound. Like, is this, you just get more depth of a sound. A lot of people can't hear that. YouTube compresses everything for what you're watching anyways. But a lot of times, it's a lot of people on podcasts, they really like that compression, and they can do more with the audio when you put it into a software to edit after you record. So that's the whole reason of an XLR hub. So again, you get a two-in-one mic, $79. You get the XLR uh, hub. Nope. XLR hub, $52. You can get you a boom arm like what I have here. It's not a five fine. It's not nothing else. It's just one I found. I liked it. Uh, it didn't have no springs on or nothing. I paid 26 bucks for this. This whole setup, like I said, is right at 150 bucks with tax. I, you could that's what you would pay for just this. Then we go look at which I don't even I don't even have the deep pockets for it, which is a Shure SM7B. You know, the Shures, I, yes, I hear people on YouTube, I hear how they sound. They sound good. But for what my needs are and what 90% of everyone's needs out here are, 
you're not going to need with the Shure Oppers. The only thing that comes close to needing would be the Rode Pod mic, but at the same time, why spend all that money on here and then you're restricted to having to have a cloud filter? I'll leave a picture up right here of what the cloud filter is if you don't know what a cloud filter is. But you need that where you don't on here. Uh, it, what it does, it boosts it for 48 volt phantom power. So it's just basically an inline filter that, that boosts the audio up higher. So that's, that's the easiest way I can explain without going into a 10 minute ordeal here. Uh, it's not very flashy. Don't have too many lights. Uh, one other thing I do wish that it did have, I think I also said in the, the initial review is a mute button. That's one thing that the vocaster had. And that's why I got it, uh, months before this one here uh is the mute button but other than this that mute button and having the cables in the backside i don't hear not a difference in the audio uh again i'm not a, a huge audio peeper i don't sing i don't do none of that uh, i just need a good mic and i need a good interface to actually just do videos like this right here and bring honest reviews to people. So this is what it sounds like on the USB on the Fi Fine Tank 3. This one here, now you do have to worry about the uh, knobs here because these all work now because of the USBs plugged in. The mute button, turn red, turn green. So you actually got a mute on here where on the XLR side, the mute does not work. You have to find your interface that has a mute button if you didn't want to go with this combo setup right here. Uh, what's nice though is say you're thinking about doing something like this or you want to start a podcast or, or do something and you're like, man, I don't want to buy all the equipment. I just want just a mic to start to see if I can, if it takes off or if it's something that I'm really going to enjoy doing. Something like this over the uh, AM6, don't get me wrong. I mean, this AM6 has been, uh, it's been nice. I mean, I really like it. This is for another channel, it sits in the other room for a different channel. Man, that I like the way it sounds. It's just missing the XLR feature for me. So if that's where you're at in this and you just want something with the XLR, grab something like this. I mean, this right here, again, even the Rode doesn't even have USB on it. Now, if you get the new Rode Pod Mic 2 with the USB, that thing's like 250 bucks. You still need a cloud filter. And then you would need an XLR hub after that. You're looking at well over 300 bucks by the time you're done with the Rode Pod Mic 2. So again, you're just wanting to start out. You don't know where it's going to take you, but you want something that you can grow with for a few years. Man, this mic here is where it's at. I'm not trying to upsell this or nothing. Uh, I will have affiliate links down below if you want to want to grab it or whatever. Uh, I'm, again, I'm not I'm not a salesman. You know, I'm here to bring you honest reviews for your hard-earned money. Man, our economy here in October 2024, our economy crap right so anything that we can do that we're trying to make extra money and do extra things is better but saying that they're so underrated i mean they have this right here it's the m9 wireless lavernier mic set this they're so underrated i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and i'll, I'll leave uh, the video up on, on one of the sides here in just a sec uh, uh, this microphone right here it is it, it's an awesome wireless wireless mic I have it compared against the DJI. I have it compared against the Boya. Man, Fife Fine, they are coming up. Stay tuned because they do have a uh, stream deck, their version of a stream deck coming out, and they also have a capture card coming out, which, I mean, I'm excited to try that. I'm really excited to try the capture card. That way I, I have more for, for more cameras around here. So, anyways, I'm Thomas with Tomology. I'll catch you all in the next one.